Hey folks, so after everything's said and done, sometimes you have to be looking at out for the best interest of youngsters. Because yeah, it's, it's wonderful for them to have dreams. It's wonderful for them to always want to have a, a look or a try at one of the biggest clubs in the world. But sometimes maybe it's not a fit. And that's when the agent has to start looking out. And in this case, there was some uh, advice being given by the agent. And of course, I'm talking about Vitor Hockey, who earlier, before the match between Barcelona and Real Sociedad, the, the board, basically Deco, ends up announcing that uh, Vitor Hockey is no longer going to be looked at going into next season, which is very disappointing for one of the bright young stars in South American football because... Well, while things were looking very good for him while he was at Atletico Paranaense, well, he decided, and of course, when you're young and you have the opportunity and the door is open or that proverbial train is coming into the station, you have to take full advantage because you don't know when that train will ever come back. So, so it's understandable where he as a player, he as a professional is looking at his future. But at times you have to be wise about it. Maybe it's not the train, maybe that's not the train that you were supposed to get on. It's a train that's just passing by to kind of give you the understanding where you need to go eventually. But where you need to go, that train's not going to take you at that moment. It ends up being kind of disappointing and it kind of hurts to see a player that well, really isn't given a chance because it takes a great deal and understand where he comes from, understand where what he had to do to adapt just to be there, much less to try and understand a footballing philosophy, a new language, a new culture, a new basically everything at 19, 20, 21 years of age. So Victor Hoge, you gotta give him credit, he wanted to go play at a big club. He ends up rejecting an offer that was given to him by his agent. Of course, the, the offer was to go to Spurs. And that ends up being another lesson that needs to be talked. I'll mention it in a little bit in, in this video. Xavi didn't want him. He wasn't Xavi's guy. He wasn't a player that Xavi was saying, I need to have him in order to. He was looking at La Masia. He was looking at those youngsters to come in and make a difference in terms of what they needed at that moment. But he never ended up being in Xavi's plans to begin with. So that in and of itself put him behind the able. That right there put him in a situation where he was going to have to do something extraordinary in order to really advance and become a, 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 a different player that he wasn't or do something different that he hadn't done before or do something that his qualities didn't really offer. Is it a good thing? No, at times. But you need to find yourself at a base. You need to find yourself where you end up being in the best situation possible for yourself. Maybe Spurs was the option. Maybe Spurs was the, the, the situation. I don't know. But if you, of course, if he ends up going and then Ange Postecoglou comes in and says, oh, no, what happens there? Of course, I can go into a whole world of suppositions when you start dealing with, with what ends up being or what ends up might have happening and every, everything else that you end up really going into the world. Just basically supposition and spe speculation in terms of what Victor Hockey could have offered at Spurs. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe he would have been a more, more of a protagonist. Just maybe. How much? I don't know. But knowing in a season where a team like that had so many injuries, he could have stepped in and contributed. At Barcelona, coming in halfway, well, halfway through the season, I should say. Remember, he came in basically in January to, to join Barcelona. Had very few practices. Has a couple of interventions. Yeah, I mean, but never had a lot of continuity. So when you don't have that continuity, now we don't know what happened in practice, but we know that basically he wasn't able to adapt to what Xavi's philosophy and what the philosophy required of him ended up being. Fair, unfair? Well, I'll let you decide. That's, that's something for you guys to discuss. I'm just putting it out here on the table for you. But when it comes to seeing him, it, it does hurt because a lot of times it's not that. It's not that the player says, no, I don't want to go here even though they are offering more money for me. I want to go here because I want to build my legacy or I want to be at a big club. But there's players that don't even have that option. There's players that all of a sudden are taken out. They're extremely green. I don't think Victor Hockey at Atlético Paranaense looked green. He was playing at the highest level of the Brasileirão. 
but that doesn't mean that it translates over to European football necessarily. At times it does, at times it doesn't. Now that's going to be the big question when Endrick comes in. How does he perform when he's at Real Madrid? Will he have the opportunities to perform? Same thing with Claudio Echeverria at City. Same thing with a lot of South American youngsters that come in. But then there's some that come into situations that really end up being impossible. That end up, you know, you end up being loaned out to a team that's fighting relegation and you don't have a chance to really excel. There's a lot of stories there that end up having Victor Hook ends up being just another one, but a much more highly publicized one because of the situation that it ends up, you know, the, the strife that the that the that it's generating between the agent and Deco, between Deco and Juan Laporta, between Juan Laporta and Deco, between Deco and Xavi, between Xavi and Deco. So there's a lot of counter positions in all of this that end up making this a very, very disappointing run for Victor Hoque. Not necessarily because of him, but because of, well, in part it is because of him. He's the one that made the final decision. But at 1920, who doesn't dream of playing at a big club? Who doesn't? And who, who would, I mean, if I were in his situation, I would much rather play for Barcelona over Spurs. That's just me. And I understand that situation. But sometimes you have to have someone to tell you, you know what, maybe it's not your time to be there. Maybe it's not the moment. Learn from the situation. Go here where you're going to be nourished from a football standpoint. Go here and learn how to be able to, to, to excel. And then maybe you're ready. You know, sometimes making that decision is maybe two or three leaps too early. Maybe you have a Victor Hoque coming in at 23 that is a much more galvanized player instead of being in Europe for three weeks. That's what ends up happening with Victor Hoque and a very tough decision from the outside looking in. But maybe it's necessary. Maybe it's something that's needed. Now, the options that he has available now, well, United... I don't know what's going to happen with United. He goes from one uncertainty to the other, possibly. Now, United is the name is the team that they're mentioning, and of course everything else that's being talked about and, and who would come in and who would end up going. That's something completely different. Let's not even go and touch that as of yet, because then we continue with speculation. But as of right now, things don't look very positive for Victor Hoque in terms of obviously his present and especially his very very near future guys so just make sure you do the usuals and uh, hope that you guys do well we'll be back with a lot of other stuff oh by the way this coming week we'll have that uh, basically ask me anything make sure you're leaving your questions make sure you're doing everything that you need to do and of course i'll be more than happy to continue giving you content here as we continue to grow this slowly but surely slow and steady wins the race and i hope that we can continue building what could be a very special thing and then of course i'm looking to see if i can do commentary on on this channel very soon and uh, we'll see what ends up happening okay talk to you soon